Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you back to another part of Pikmin. In the last part, we went to the Forest Naval and got two ship parts with the price of losing seven Pikmin. Either by getting burned, or they were crushed by a Wallywog, or for some reason disappear under a bridge. And in this part, we're going to hopefully, I'm hoping, we are able to get the rest of the ship parts. So let's go. Let's land in this area, maybe for the last time. And kind of like the Forest of Hope, where the last time we went, there were bosses. That's the same with this area. We're going to be tackling a few bosses around here. So, first ship part we're going to get. We're going to get that dang one in the ocean, in the water. So, um, I'm not too worried about the reds. So, I'm just going to pull out again 40 reds. And then I'm just going to make the rest blues. Because I've got the hunch that... We're going to lose a couple of blues to those Wally Walks. Now, we took out one last time. So, hopefully, that should be all of them gone by now. So, we're going to pull these guys. So, come on. All of them. Very nice. Very good, actually. Look at that. Oof. Red and blue. I like the series Red versus Blue, but just red and blue. So, we're going to go over here. And we are going to be safe and drop everybody off here. So, Blues, come with us. Come with me. And please don't tell me I lost any already to the to that dang... Oh my god, I lost eight? We lost eight. Alright, I will be right back. Alright, let's try this again. And you know what? I'm going to be safe and not go to the bridge. We're going right down to enemy territory. Right where the enemy is. And we're going to ignore it. Ignore that enemy. What I'll do is, again, lure this Wallywog. And that Wallywog can get burned to a crisp for all I care. Okay, good. So there goes the Wallywog. And now let's go take care of the other one. This one here. Right, jump up. And... Take on him. And we're gonna drop. And we're gonna keep tossing our Pikmin onto this guy. That's usually what I like to do. Right before he drops down, I call my Pikmin back so they don't kind of go flying everywhere. And fall. Throw a bunch on him. Alright. Come on back. Okay, let's wait for him to kind of jump on. Or try to jump on us. Okay, ignore that. And go. I kind of like that. The little bottle right there. I was just kind of stick it in the ground. That's a really cool. I like that little detail. It's a. Uh, I forgot what kind of pop soda pops those are. But anyways, here we go. It's my anti-dioxide filter. This fits over the rock's exhaust ports and filter out all the disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. This means I'll be able to f move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel wonders better. Well, that makes one person happy. Man, imagine how nice it would be over here. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get the blues to carry that all the way back over there. Back onto dry land. And then I'm going to get all the reds that we need. All 40 of them. And good. There we go. So call my blues back before <laughs> one couldn't manage to get around the ship and gets burned. So we're going to be carefully going up this dang this bridge. What's up with this? We lost another one. We lost a blue through that bridge going up. Uh, what is up with these bridges? Oh, that's why. Oh. Oh, that's what happened. One decided to go out and... Or, did I lose a Pikmin? I thought I did. Guess I didn't. Oh, okay. So, probably what happened... Hey, Red, go. Did I not grab all my reds? Was there a red I didn't grab? Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess the one good just didn't decide to jump on. No, probably went to go to the grass. Go pull on some grass and get some nectar. Oh, but I thought I lost... The, like, I did lost, like, those eight. I'm pretty... Like, okay, now I'm going to have to go back and recheck that because... I want to know, did I actually lose, like, any Pikmin on that first uh, video attempt? Because if I did, I would have been so annoyed. But anyways, let's get rid of our... Blues. Our blues are done for the day now that we got that ship part. So while they go in, we are going to grab some more reds. We're going to grab... I'll grab another 40. 40 sounds... 40 is a good number. So, um... 
be kind of good if I flower up these guys. They're all, they're all buds. Let's go flower them up. So while they're going that way, there's our ship part. So, come on. Now I could use some nectar. There we go. Get some nectar on these guys. Get some more. Okay, so we're all good. Yep, we're all good. I think there might be a few buds in there. So, going this way. Of course, there's another Wally Wog. Ugh. So, uh, these guys, we're going to throw on top of him, please. Yeah, once he goes in the air, you can actually knock him right out of the sky and then knocks him out in one shot. Or send one Pikmin on top of it and it knocks him out. Come on, guys, please, 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 please. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Good. Okay, don't want to carry anything back. So what we're going to do... We're gonna take out this Wallywog now. Now we got some reds, we should do a lot of damage to this guy. So, good. That, right in a battle, okay, what is it? How many times has this actually happened where, ooh, actually that looks kinda of cool, it just like fit the, uh, the ship pretty well. Anti-deoxide trucks, the laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutions. Okay, well, I guess we have no, okay, I'm gonna call these guys back. Don't die, don't die. Ah, we lost a red, dang. Lots of red. That's not what I like. We're just gonna keep attacking this guy. Come on, guys, knock it out. I like how I say knock it out when actually I'm actually killing it because that's what it is. It's I'm killing these guys because they're like, watch, their spirit flies away. Like, he's gonna fly away. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes the spirit. Okay, we got ourselves a boss over here. This here is a puffy toadstool, I believe. What you want to do is run towards it. It will make, or will it tip over? It's gonna trip. It's gonna trip. Yeah, there it goes. It trips and you want to throw Pikmin on top of it. You want to keep throwing your Pikmin on top of it and I think I'm gonna one shot this thing again. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, there we go. Now, one thing about this thing, the puffy toadstool, I think that's what it's called. I found my Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battery ship is easy. My battery ship is easy to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That and it looks rather cool. Yet it couldn't save you when that meteorite showed up, eh? So we're gonna get our Reds to carry this back. So um, I know it never showed this, but what the the bad thing that this uh, puffy toadstool can do is. Any pick, it will shoot out some spores, and any Pikmin caught in those spores will die. Yeah, they will turn into, they actually first, before they die, they will turn into mushroom Pikmin. So instead of having a flower on their head, they'll have a mushroom and they become like a dark purple, and they will start to attack Olimar. And if that wasn't bad enough, um, to make things even worse, they will, they eventually do die. You, I think you can whistle them and they can have them, you can kind of call them back. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've actually had that happen. But the main thing is this, that's done. We now need some yellows for the next uh, upcoming battle. So we're gonna keep our reds with us. We're going to ignore this guy because he's just chilling. And we are gonna take our yellows and go this way for another boss. So we're going to leave the remains over there. We're going to grab our yellows. Our yellows... We only have 21, which is okay. It's an alright number. We want to go in here. And going forward... We got our boss! This is Beady Long Legs. This thing really looks like one of those enemies from Super Mario 64. The one in Hazy Maze Cave. Anybody else see that? Or is that just me? Anyways, Beady Long Legs. What this thing will like to do is just walk around. Those feet will kill any Pikmin. You could attack them if you attack the feet if you want, which makes them all stunned. Um, you could do that. I just recommend just going straight for the body. But the fact is, BD Long Legs goes in a pattern. Um, the other fact is... Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, he's hot. He's, his hitbox is the, obviously the round thing, but the thing is about that is... It is... Oh! I got stepped on. Okay, where am I picking? Where am I picking? I need to see. <laughs> I was getting worried there. I heard there was a glitch where if BD Longlegs tries to get to the exit, the game will crash. And I think we lost two Pikmin. Again, 
this is an occurring thing with ship parts coming back when I'm in the middle of a fight. Omega stabilizes the dolphin fin is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I made great strides in repairing this dolphin with this. I should be able to fly. Even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Again, Olimar, you decide to stop mid-battle. You tell BD Longlegs, this giant creature that's stomping on Pikmin, you tell him to stop one second because you look at your ship in the distance and you see your ship getting a new ship part and then you're like, oh, that's cool. Oh, by the way, hey, big guy, if I told you if I found 11 more parts, I'll be able to get out of here. <laughs> I don't think BD Longlegs would care. Anyways... So we're going to throw more Pikmin onto the ball thing. You could get reds, and this could go a lot faster. But you could also just get yellow Pikmin to... So when he's stomping around like this, I have my yellow Pikmin just attacking him like that. Call upon my Pikmin. And... Just gonna keep doing that. And as more damage he gets, his body starts smoking and crumbling. Sounds like something out of, like, it sounds like a, a barbecue dinner. Smoky, crumbling bacon. Nope! Oh! That's not good. I, I went, oh, actually, well, that's weird. I've never seen his foot actually up on the upper ledge area. So I'm going to wait for, okay. So now we'll throw more Pikmin. Hopefully we'll take him out more. Okay, call him back. Oh, that was close. Wait for the... Wait for that front. Yeah, once that frog leg went, then I'm good to go. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. And there we go! And he opens up, and he explodes. Kaboom! And, ooh, that's weird. I never see, noticed that before. The little, like, grayish black bubbles. That's kind of cool. The Gar satellite deep space is filled with dangers. This automatic, this automatic satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at... at I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. Where was it when the meteorite hit you? This was slacking off. Anyways, let's go grab our reds. And we are going to go get this ship part. So let's go get the ship part. And sure, the reds can get the spoils. I would let the yellows get something, but there's too much of a dangerous area for the yellows to grab stuff. So they're carrying that stuff back up. Yellow, come over here. Thank you. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to come down here. So this is the farthest area in the... Um, so we've been to... So in the last part, we went to the farthest section. So now we're on the other farthest section. So we've been everywhere in the Force Naval. Once that ship part comes in, that's it. Uh, you got a honey boost there if you want some nectar, but I think we're okay. So it's crazy to think that this is it. This is going to be the end of the Forest Naval. Once uh, everything is back, we are all good. We are done with this area. They're going that Okay, they're coming back this way. Thank goodness. I didn't want them to go that way because that leads to uh, some enemies, and I'm pretty sure they responded back. So we never open these gates. You don't really need to open these gates. You don't, you don't really need to waste time. This, this just creates a big shortcut. But it requires several days of getting bomb rocks. I know we there's ten you can get over there. I don't know how many this. I think this requires nine. Um, there's some bomb rocks around here somewhere. I think, like down here. Like you got to get the Pikmin to climb up and get them and all that. But I kind of just proved you don't need to worry about that. And also, if you need to get Pikmin around here, you can just go right through here, right through this crack. Just guide your Pikmin up, and you're all good. So we will gather our Pikmin. We'll wait till everybody comes back. Because we got this. And we got our last Pikmin carrying some stuff back. So let's go. Let's go pluck these guys. Because why not? So while we're doing that, we're going to pluck all these Pikmin. And here we go. We got ourselves our last ship part of this area. Very nice. And there it is. It's flying. It's floating in air. Guard Satellite, this has protected me from space pirates many, many times. Huh, I wonder if this has something to do with Metroid series. Maybe. Who knows? I have now recovered 19 out of 30 parts. If I can just find another 10, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. All right. So now we are missing one more Pikmin. Oh, you know what? 
Yellows, you get that one. You earned it after that fight. Ooh, Mario. Oh, so once Olimar gets hit, if you stand in front of your ship and press A. Standing in front of your ship, you recover your space suit. So now I am back to full health. So if you ever get hurt, this is the best way to do it. Just come back here and get healed. All right. And we got one. Huh. That's weird. Shouldn't we have gotten two for that? That was a yellow pellet that came back, right? Or did, oh no, I, we lost one. Or yeah, we had one. That's now I remember. I'm like, I was confused for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. But then I'm like, oh right. Okay, so that is everything here. We don't need to worry about anything else. So I think it's best to just go to sunset. There's nothing else we can do here. So let's go. We got all the ship parts. We got everything. We got all our Pikmin. So now we are done with the forest naval. How about that? So now all that's left is for us to go to the distant spring. We need 10 more ship parts. The forest of hope had eight. This area had nine. The distant spring has 10 ship parts for us to find. Too bad, Wally Walk. We ain't coming back. You ain't getting no Pikmin, sucker. Here we go. Eight days since impact. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that the food pellets from onions of the same color results in the release of numbers. It's the same thing I kind of mentioned earlier. Don't need tutorial stuff. So we sprouted eight. We lost eight. So we lost and we gained. So that's not too bad. All right. We are saving, and now we're on day nine. And here we go. All that's left is to go to the distant spring. This is a very challenging area. Prepare for some really bad enemies and some kind of jerkish stuff. But we're going to worry about that in the next part. So next time on Pikmin, we'll be going to the distant spring. Hopefully our Pikmin count stays high. We're going to lose Pikmin here. Be ready. I will see you guys then.